Welcome back creatures or welcome to our new creatures. My name is Maggie and this is my project. This is a series where I talk about urban legends as I am obsessed with urban legends and I do my makeup at the same time. However, I won't just be doing any boring old glam makeup. Sometimes I will, but not always. I will be doing special effects makeup. I won't be showing the products that I use and I won't be demonstrating the steps that I go through as that's not what this series is about. However, if that is something that you are interested in, please let me know in the comments below and I can either start doing how-to videos or just adding the products in the description box below. So today our special effects makeup is not based on our urban legend as our special effects makeup is Christmas related and our urban legend is about the Cadborus. Really? Really? I'm trying to film Bubba. I'm trying to film. Look. Look, I'm trying to film. Can you see? Can you see? Look, look, look right there, look. Yeah, that's you. I try to film. All right, one on one. And that is Luffin. But as I was saying, Christmas special effects look is obviously based on Christmas. And our urban legend is about the Cad, Cadborosaurus urban legend. Let me get the base of how I'm sticking these things to my face sorted and then I will come back with the first part and tell you more about it. So this isn't working really how I wanted it to so I'm just going to work around it but we might as well get into it right? So Cadborosaurus nicknamed Caddy for Junilus Archie Wills is a sea is a sea serpent in the folklore of regions of the Pacific coast of North America. Gotta get us some spirit gum. Let's start putting some on the edges. Let's make it look. I say as I just don't talk. Um, its name is derived from Cadboro Bay in Greater Victoria, British Columbia, and the Greek root word saurus, meaning lizard or reptile. The description of Caddy is said by witnesses to resemble a serpent with vertical coils or humps in tandem behind the horse-like head and long neck, with a pair of small, elevating front flippers, and either a pair of hind flippers or a pair of large webbed hind flippers, which are fused to form a large fan-like tail region that provides forward propulsion. Seems to be stopped. Dr. Paul LeBlond, the director of Earth and Ocean Sciences at UBC, can't seem to do two things at once. Hopefully this channel will teach me, or this project will teach me. And Dr. Edward Blousefield, retired chief zoologist of the Canadian Museum of Nature, state Every elongated animal has been put forward as the explanation for caddy. These animals include conger eels, humpback whales, elephant seals, ribbon or oarfish, basking sharks, and sea lions. LeBlond and Blasfield state no other creatures matches the characteristics of the Chagora caddy. Sorry. I don't even know where I get Chad from. Hang on. 
I'll just read the paragraph out while I'm waiting for this to stick. Because I seriously can't do two things at once, apparently. The blonde and blaspheme estate. No knowing creature matches the characteristics found in over 200 sightings collected over centuries. Noting that Caddy is described as having flippers both anteriorly, which is in front or towards front, and posteriorly, which is located behind or towards the back. Darren Nash contends that the blonde and Blasfield are engaging in bad science and have incorrectly assumed that different conflicting eyewitness reports are all descriptions of one species when various accounts are most parsimoniously interpreted as descriptions of many things. And that word that I don't know how to pronounce, apparently, is to use a lot of something. So fun. I'm gonna finish sticking the shit to my face. And then we can move on to creatures that have been identified as catty. So I gotta wait a little bit and hold this guy on to, in the hopes that it sticks. So I'm gonna read you out some of these. So the first creature identified as Kitty has been a sea lion. In 1943, two police officers, Inspector Robert Owens and Staff Sergeant Jack Russells, saw a huge sea serpent with a horse-like head in Georgia Strait. Later, with a pair of binoculars, Sergeant Russell saw that the strange apparition was a huge bull sea lion leading a herd of six sea lions. Their un undulations as they swam appeared to form a continuous body, with parts showing at intervals as they surfaced and dived to the naked eye, the side perfectly impersonated a sea monster. As I am adding some effects blood, I'm going to read about the creature that was identified as Kelly of the giant or fish. Some suggestions have been made that Caddy could be an example of the king of herrings or giant or fish. This species can reach 17 meters in length and weigh up to 300 kgs. Giant or fish are long and silvery and they undulate like a serpent as a serpent would, as they swim. H.J. Walker, a senior of a senior museum scientist at the Skips Institution of Ocean Oceanography, who also has several oarfish in his collection, was the one who had said that. The next creature that was identified as one is the basking shark. The carcass of a decomposing basking shark is often mistaken for Caddy and has fooled experts in Lanian. So let me post this round and then we will talk about the First Nations accounts. So the First Nation account, a native image fits Caddy's description, has been traditionally used throughout Alaska. The image indicates that Caddy, or a Caddy-like creature, moves north to Vancouver when the water is warm. The Inuit of Alaska has even put the picture on their canoes to keep the creatures away. Caddy is called Hyotelik by the Man Halso people who lived in Sydney in Lake Tachanko in mythology and Nomsky the Koala by the Combox Band of Vancouver Islands. God, that was a lot. That was a lot. 
Um, the only thing left for me really to do for this look is some eye blood. And I can't really see when I have that stuff in. So, I will finish some of my reading. I'll put it in, show you the end of the look, and we'll go from there. Moving on to sightings. There have been more than 300 claimed sightings during the past 200 years, including Deep Cove in Sarnich Inlet and Island View Beach, both on both of which are also on the Sarnich Peninsula and at San Francisco Bay, California. Kelly Nash's video in 2009 purportedly filmed several minutes of footage featuring 10 to 15, including young creatures in Noshika Bay. In 2011, a very short segment of the vid footage was shown on the Discovery TV show Hill Standard, Hill Stranded, sorry, where the Hill Stranded brothers apparently saw Nash's footage and unsuccessfully attempted to find one of these creatures. Carcasses associated with Caddy. Um, there's been, there's been a few. Starting in 1930, on November 10th, at Glacier Island near Valdez, a skeleton was found in ice. The skeleton was 24 feet long with flippers. Some of the remains were preserved in Cordova for scientific studies. The creature is thought to be a whale. In 1934, in November, on Henry Island near Prince Rupert, badly decomposed remains about 30 feet long were found. Dr. Neil Carter examined the remains. The creature was identified as a barking shark. In 1937, in October, a purported caddy carcass was retrieved from the stomach of a sperm whale in Naden Harbour and photographed. The sample of the carcass was sent to the BC Provincial Museum where it was tentatively identified as a fetus, a fetal Balin whale by Museum Director Francis Kermode. In 1941, a carcass called Sarah the Sea Hag was found on Kit Solano Beach. W.A. Clemens and Ian Matarget Cohen identified it as a shark. In 1947, in December at Vernon Bay, Barclay Sound, Vancouver Island, a 45 foot long creature was found. It was also identified to be a shark. In 1950, in Deer Lake Origin, a creature was found with four tails and thick hair. It was identified as a whale shark. In 1956, somewhere near Dry Harbor, south of Yakutat, Alaska, a 100 foot long carcass was found with two inch long hair. Trevor Kinsade. I can't do names. I'm so sorry. If I'm butchering any of these, I am so sorry. But this guy is quoted as saying, description fits no known creature. W.A. Clemens, again, identified the carcass as a Bard's Beak beaked whale. In 1962, in April, near Osulet, a 14 foot long carcass was found with elephant like head. The carcass was dragged ashore by Simon Peter and later thought to be an elephant seal. In 1963, in September, near Oak Harbor, Wood Bay Island, a carcass was found with a head resembling a horse. A.D. Rolanda of Fisheries thought it was a basking, a basking shark. Sorry. And the last section is the purported live captures. The first one was in 1968 in August. W. Hagelund claims to have caught a baby caddy near Decori Island, only to return into the water. And then later in 1991 in July, on Jones Island or San Juan Island, Phyllis Harsh 
claims to have caught a small two-foot baby caddy and also returned it to the water. So, a lot of, a lot of people thinking that they have seen it and it being proven to be something else or that they've caught it and then have let it go. But it's just another Loch Ness monster, really, if you think about it. So, yeah, let me put these in and then I will finish off the video. And this is the end result. I hope you creatures enjoyed this video. I'm not sure how long it is, but I guess I'll find out once I do all the editing. I'm not too happy on how this look turned out personally because it didn't start off going very well, but I'm hoping that you like it nonetheless. Um, if you have any urban legends that you would like me to talk about, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to learn more about what you guys are into. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep going through my list, which is also fine. And I will see all you creatures in the next urban legend. Bye.